Hello, people of God. I pray everybody's doing well today. I wanted to get on here and read some Holy Scripture with you guys. And it is in Luke um, chapter 24, 24, verse 13. And it says, On that very day, two of them were on their way to, to a village called Emus, about seven miles from Jerusalem. They were talking to each other about all the things that had happened. While they were talking and debating these things, Jesus himself approached and began to accompany them. Mind you, this is after Jesus' res resurrection. He had already died and resurrected, and he appeared to them. How awesome would that be? That is so amazing. Jesus himself approached them and began to accompany them, but their eyes were kept from recognizing them. Isn't that interesting? It said their eyes were kept from recognizing Jesus. So even though they were walking with him, they did not recognize who he was. This is so cool. Then he said to them, what are these matters you are discussing so in, intent, intently as you're walking along? Jesus shows up and says, hey guys, what are y'all talking about? <laughs> hey like i love jesus like i just picture him doing these things and i'm like wow amen and you know when you walk with jesus even on your walk like you talk to him like he's here and sometimes he talks to you in some ways he makes me laugh so much like jesus is so funny i love his sense of humor um one of the scriptures that makes me laugh a lot is when he calls them you little foxes like no, he calls them you foxes, you little foxes or something like that. I was like, Jesus, you are funny. I love it. I love it. I love his personality. I love his heart. I love his sense of humor. I love his character. I love everything about Jesus. He is the most amazing, awesome person on the face of this earth and will ever be ever, 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 ever. Anyways, he says, what are the, what are these matters you, you're discussing? He's like, he walked, you know, he shut up and Jesus like, Hey guys, what are y'all talking about? And they, and they stood looking sad at Jesus. Then one of them named, uh, Cleo, Cleopas answered him. I'm sorry if I'm messing these names up. Forgive me. Are you the only visit? <laughs> they had some hard names. Are you the only visitor to Jerusalem who doesn't know? Like, they're talking to Jesus and they're like, Don't you know what just happened? Our Messiah is dead. He died. Haven't you heard the news? And then you're, tell you're talking to Jesus. But it says, their eyes did not recognize him. Wow. And they're like, what? Where have you been? Have you been hiding under a rock, basically? These things, he said, they said, have, do you not know the things that have happened, happened here in these days? He said to them, he said to them, what things? <laughs> Jesus is like, please tell me, tell me. Jesus is so funny. He said, what things? The things concerning Jesus of Nazarene, they replied, do you not know? This man is like crazy. They're like, man, do you not know? A man who, a man who with his power, deeds, and words proved to be the prophet before God and all his people. They're telling that to Jesus. <laughs> and they're talking to Jesus. And how our chief priest and leader handed him over to be condemned to death and crucified him. Wow. But we had hoped. That he was the one who was going to redeem Israel. Man, I think, you know, when they were... Oh, I'm going to get uh, emotional. But when they were walking with Jesus, they did not understand the... Man, the, how deep this was. You were walking with Jesus. We are reading the Word of God, the Holy Scripture. And... And um, we're reading about Jesus, and you walked with Jesus. This is amazing. Anyways, I love it. But we had hoped that he was the one who was going to redeem Israel. They did not know how deep this was. They did not know how big this was. Even though Jesus tried to tell them in parables and explain to them, guys, 
they're going to destroy the temple, but I'm going to rise in three days. They're going to destroy this temple, but I'm going to rise in three days. They did not get it. Not only this, but it is now the third day. They said, not only this, but it is now the third day since these things have happened. Furthermore, um, some woman of our group amazed us. They were at the tomb earlier this morning, and when they did not find his body, they came back and said they had seen visions of angels. Woo! Powerful! They had seen visions of angels who said he was alive. Imagine you're sitting here telling Jesus in person the things that happened, and he's like, tell me more. Then some of the... <laughs> You're so good, Jesus. You're so good. You're good. You're good. Then some of those who were with us went to the tomb and found it just as the woman had said, but they did not see him. So he said to them, you foolish people, how slow of heart to believe. Wow. He said, you foolish people, how slow of your heart to believe all that the prophets have spoken. Jesus knew how powerful Man, how powerful this word was of him rising again, of the prophets that were already speaking of what was coming to happen, what was going to take place. Wasn't it necessary for Christ to suffer these things and enter into his glory? He's telling them. He's schooling them. Man, then beginning with Moses and the prophets, he interpreted to them the things written about himself in the scriptures. <laughs> then Jesus reminded them, did you not listen to the words of the prophets? Did you not listen? You still doubting in your heart? You're still doubting in your heart? Like what is going on with y'all foolish people? So they approached the village where they were going. He acted as though he wanted to go farther, but they urged him, stay with us because it is getting toward evening and the day is almost done. So he went to stay with them. Jesus is so beautiful. Then he, when he had taken his place at the table with them, he took the bread and blessed and broke it. Wow. Can you imagine sitting with Jesus after he he died and res man, it's all good, and gave it to them. At this point, their eyes... At this point, woo, their eyes were open and they recognized him. Come on. Then he vanished out of their sight. They said to each other, didn't the, didn't our hearts burn within us? Wow. Wow. He says, didn't our hearts burn within us while he was speaking with us on the road? While he was explaining the scriptures to us. Wow. So they got up that very hour and returned to Jerusalem. They found the eleven and those and with them gathered together and saying, The Lord has really risen. And he has appeared to Simon. Man. Woo. Powerful. I can't. I can't. That's how you should get when you read the Holy Scripture. You're like, Wow. Like you get so excited. I know I do. The Lord has really risen. Has a perfect assignment. Then they, told then they told what had happened on the road. And how they recognized him. And when he broke the bread. Woo. Okay. We're going on to the next one. It says. Jesus makes a final appearance. While they were saying these things. Jesus himself stood among them. And said to them. Peace be with you. But they were startled and terrified. Thinking they saw a ghost. Then he said to them. Why are you frightened? And why, why do you doubt? Why does doubt arise in your heart? What type of doubts do you have? Are you battling with doubts in your heart of anything that God has already told you? Anything that Jesus has already told you? Why are you doubting? Don't be a fool. Don't be a fool. Don't doubt him. Don't doubt him when he tells you something. Look at my hands and my, my feet. It's me. God, Jesus is like, look at my hands and feet. This is me. Touch me and see. A ghost does not have flesh and bones like you see I have. When he did this, he showed them his hands and feet. And while they were they, 
and why they still could not believe it because of their joy and were amazed. He said to them, do you have anything here to eat? So they gave him a piece of broiled fish and he took it and ate it in front of them. How beautiful, how awesome. Then he said to them, these are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you. That everything written about me in the law of Moses and the prophets and the Psalms must be fulfilled. You understand? Jesus was all about God's will. All about that was fulfilled. Everything had to be fulfilled. Even his death. He knew his assignment here. He knew what he had to do. Do you know your assignment? What is your assignment? What is your assignment? Then he opened their minds so they could understand the scriptures and said to them, Thus it stands written that Christ would suffer and would rise from the dead on the third day and repentance for the forgiveness of sin would be proclaimed. Powerful. And they had no idea who they were walking with. I think they they kind of knew, but then they kind of didn't. They It was too big for them to understand. And you know what? That's how it is. Sometimes things are too big for us to understand because, man, it's kingdom things. And even me, it's hard for me to understand some things that God has already told me concerning my assignments. I'm like, God, me? Really? Me? And sometimes he has to knock me over the side of my head to, to for me to understand a little bit. Yes, you. I called you to do this. I called you to do that. Now do it. And I'm like, man, God, I'm sorry. Like, I, I sometimes don't understand the, in, the depth of it. I don't understand the depth of it. I really don't. It's hard. It's hard to understand sometimes how big things are because we have to understand it's not about us. When he gives you an assignment, especially for the nations, to the nations, man, it's crazy that he even chose you to go to the nations if he's shown you this. Some of our assignments are bigger than others, but I understand what they've what what they what they've gone through. Like they couldn't understand and grip the fullness of Jesus and why he came. Whew. Okay. In his name to all nations, beginning from Jerusalem, you are a witness to these things. And look, I am sending you what my father promised. What has the father promised you? You better hold on to the promises of God. Hold on to his promises. But stay in the city until you until you have been clothed. Woo, I like this. Stay in the city until you have been clothed with power from on high. Hmm. Wow. It says, Then Jesus led them out as far as Bethany, and lifting up his hands, he blessed them. Now during the blessing, imagine Jesus blessing you. He's putting your, raising up his hands and praying for you. God, that's amazing. Now during the blessing, he departed and was taken up into heaven. So they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy. And we're continually in the temple courts blessing God. Man, that's powerful. Anyways, people of God, that was the word for today. I pray it blessed somebody out there. I know it did because the word of God is alive and active. His holy scripture stands true. His holy scripture stands true. So I pray today that you get a revelation of who he is. That he opens up his your eyes so that you can see him and recognize him. I pray that you, he gives you, that he opens up your mind and gives you understanding of his holy scripture. Because it is mind-blowing. It is amazing even now to read. It's just not a book. When you get the revelation of who Jesus is, when you recognize who he is, when you get an understanding of his scripture, it is always, it's, it's, it's alive, but it always, it's always something different. Me and my sister Shelly were just talking about this yesterday, 
and she was pointing out some really good points in the Bible. God gave her revelation concerning certain things. And um, God gave her revelation concerning certain things in the Bible. And I was like, wow, sister, you know, you read the Bible. I've read the Bible from front to back and I'm reading it again. But man, it's always something that stands out. I'm like, man, God, I read this two days ago and it now it's 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 a whole new thing that you get revelation. And I was telling sister that how that's how it is when you read the the scripture when God opens your mind to begin to understand his holy scripture. So, anyways, people of God, today was awesome. I'm glad that I got to read some holy scripture with y'all on my break. It is a beautiful day here in San Antonio, Texas. It is raining. It is awesome. And I am at my little favorite spot that I found and just enjoying the view, enjoying talking to y'all and enjoy reading some Holy Scripture with you guys. Um, I pray y'all have a blessed rest of your day. And I pray that y'all get a revelation of who Jesus is and that he opens up your eyes to recognize him. Hallelujah. Shalom, shalom. Bye-bye.